Sonic, the heart of your system. Hi and welcome to Gamescom 2019. This will be another voiceover video because it's from an exhibition, but I hope you will still enjoy it. Let's go! We are here on the stage of the Case King booth from Gamescom 2019. This is where all the magic happens and I will just give you a small tour around our booth. We have some vendors in the background which we will meet later so we will pass by Aros and also the farming simulator because I have to take a picture with my cow. Once we're done with that we will visit also for example Corsair and MSI. Before we go to the vendors we will just walk around at our booth and on stage we are doing some really really crazy shows and some, yeah, the cringe level is out of control. Three, two, one. <laughs> Enough cringe for now, let's continue with this beautiful 8-pack system which is standing next to me. An 8-pack, who is my colleague from Overclockers UK, gave the 8-pack Supernova XL an update. So it's the new version which has a completely new water cooling inside it. And what I really like is the way how the, how the reservoirs are mounted and with this light box on the bottom it just looks absolutely beautiful. So Mary, what do you think about this uh, creation from Ali? Would you use it? Bist du bist ziemlich unscharf. Uh, this is a creation from Ali Abbas, who is my colleague working at Case King. He is a full-time modder working at Case King. He's very successful. He won multiple championships when it comes to live modding competitions, which you can see by all the trophies he collected on top of this desk. <laughs> We are now in Hall 10, we just passed the Corsair booth where you can see that there is RGB just all over the place. We will visit them later, but for now we are on the way to MSI booth to participate in a live stream. I just spotted something really funny at the booth of MSI. I saw that some of their rigs use Windows and Windows is not activated. And behind me we have Lizengo which is a partner of myself and they're selling CD keys and licenses for Windows 10 for example. And so I'm on the way just to contact Lizengo and ask them if they want to maybe help out MSI with some spare keys so we can save their booth.
mein Corsair Plüschmaskottchen geworden. All right, now back to Lizengo. And now I'm next to Jessica, who is working for Lizengo. She's also my contact there. And we're now just heading to MSI. They have no idea what's going on, and I'm going to just talk to Dirk, who is also my contact at MSI. I'm just uh, yeah, introducing him to Jessica, telling him that she's working for Lizengo, and asking him why they're using a non activated Windows. And he's like, Yeah, I don't really know. So I'm just entering the Windows key I got from Lizengo, activating their Windows and they're good to go and the booth is saved. Two weeks before Gamescom I announced on my channel that I'm going to offer a free the lidding workshop and also other workshops at the Case King booth all the time during the Gamescom and I just asked people to bring their CPUs with them. Basically any CPU like 6700K, 7700K, 8700K, everything that's using conventional thermal paste was very easy to delete and people really loved this workshop. I think about 20 to 25 people stopped by every single day and brought their CPU. But not only 7700Ks or 8700K, also very unusual CPUs like an old AMD 3000 Plus, which also turned out not to be soldered, which was also kind of a surprise to me. I didn't know that all those old AMDs were also not soldered. We prepared the CPUs with some fresh conductor note liquid metal and glued them back together. Sometimes we had such a high demand that also Mary was taking over at the same time and was doing one CPU deleting at a time and I was doing the other uh, CPU at the same time. Sometimes if there was not such a high demand for the CPU deleting we also offered a hard tube bending workshop which she was doing. In addition we also did some iFixit phone repair workshops showing for example how to repair this iPhone 7 Plus with a broken screen. I have no idea what I'm looking at. So is this halt auch manchmal unter uns. Oh man, ist der Beste. Ja, äh, ich... ich. Okay, back to Tom, who's also working full time at Case King. He's mainly doing some very special water cooling builds and also taking care of some parts of the Case King YouTube channel. In this case, we were also doing some workshops showing how to equip a 2080 Ti with some EK water blocks, full cover blocks for people who never did this before and wanted to learn how to upgrade your card to a water cooling full cover block. And then we randomly had this guy stopping by with some deep fried crickets. I never ate them before. I was a little bit skeptical, but I had so many people just standing next to me and they were like, come on Roman, you have to do it, you have to do it. So I decided to taste them and they were honestly not that bad. They tasted a little bit like some salted nuts. Not too bad. Mary was also brave enough to try it and she also said it's eatable. It's not too bad. It doesn't really taste of much, but yeah, it was a cool thing that this guy stopped by and we had a chance to try this.
Back to CPU deleting, I already told you that we had some very special CPUs there during the week. Um, besides the old AMD 3000, we also had some 9900Ks that were soldered. Some guy wanted to have it deleted for direct die and he was afraid to do it by himself. Then we also had this guy stopping by with a 5930K, which is also soldered. It's for Soccer 2011. Haswell E-based and I did one deleting video about those CPUs back in those days and I really strongly recommend it not to delete those chips because you have a row of capacitors directly underneath the IHS. It's possible to, to delete those CPUs but if you take off the IHS it will always remove one row of those caps. You can solder them back technically, it will not kill the CPU itself. So if you solder them back the CPU would still work but it's just yeah, a massive amount of work. But this guy then afterwards said that the CPU was dead anyway and he just wanted to have it as a collectible and wanted to look underneath to see how the CPU looks like. Then we also had an i5-9400F which turned out also not to be deleted. There were some rumors when the CPU was released that initially it would have conventional paste and then afterwards it would have solder. This CPU was recently purchased and also the CPU still had conventional thermal paste so I think probably all 9400F still have this paste. So much about Gamescom 2019. I hope you enjoyed the insights you got from this exhibition. Again with voiceover simply because it's not possible otherwise for exhibitions. But next video will be shot again twice. Thanks and see you soon.